Okay, friend, I've got the ultimate technique for doing this glitter lip. This glitter lip is going to last all night while you're drinking, while you're eating, it is not gonna move because you're gonna be using a thinning or rather a setting spray to apply your glitter. That's right, you're going to need a setting spray. Any setting spray will do. This is the NYX one, but I actually prefer the Scandinavia setting spray, which is the same thing as Urban Decay's All Nighter. And the key into getting glitter to stay, and just so you know, this technique can also work for glitter on the eyes, but the key is a sponge tip applicator. This is from Crown. It is the C465 silicone applicator. It is $3, my friend. And I have a discount code for you as well in the description box below. But if you have a bunch of these sponge tip applicators lying around because they came in eyeshadow palettes, keep them. They are the ultimate glitter applicator and you should save all of them. The glitter I'll be using is the Anastasia Royal Loose Glitter. I do recommend loose glitter for this technique. The thing is with pressed glitter, they're sometimes a little bit too thick and not as fine. So it doesn't, I mean this, I won't lie, this does feel like I have something on my lips. It's not super heavy, but the pressed glitter is a little bit thicker so you don't get this full beautiful saturation that you do get with loose glitter. What I would also recommend is having a palette close by so you can pour the glitter on top of. This is a paw palette, my friend makes these. She's got all different shapes, sizes, and colors. Check her out, I'll put that link in the description box below too. If you have questions about how to apply the perfect lip that's balanced and symmetrical, I've got the perfect video for you. It is in the description box below, so go ahead and watch that and then you can come back and we can apply the glitter together. If you're like me and you love glitter and you have every glitter lip gloss and every glitter lipstick, you might be wondering, oh, the glitter never shows up the way that I want it to. And as you just saw in that intro, this technique is gonna get you the glitter showing up like never before. You're gonna have heads stopping and turning to stare at you wherever you go because your lips are gonna be mesmerizing, my friend. I've got my sponge tip applicator, my palette with the glitter already on it. So I'm gonna take my finishing spray, spray directly onto the sponge tip applicator. Then you're going to dip it into the glitter. And I am going to tap any excess off after I dip, just so I don't get fallout. Then from there, I can go right in and apply. Ah, oh, that is full saturation immediately. I'm going back in with my applicator, tapping the excess off, and I wanna go in the very inner corners. There we go, let's do the other side. Still haven't resprayed. When I go to do the top, I'm going to respray. Go back in, tap it onto the glitter, tap in the excess off, and press. The key here is to press the glitter instead of swiping. Pressing it gives it the oh <laughs> pressing it gives it the opacity that we want. I'm gonna go back in. Now I'm going at the very edge of the applicator so I can get into the very outer corners of my lip. I like using the end of or the edge of the applicator to get in those hard to reach areas. That way your lip still stays nice and crisp. I feel like I should go to a Beetlejuice party right now. This lip is, it just screams Beetlejuice to me. I wanna see all the glitter lips that you do, so please tag me in all of your looks so I can love on your face.